boys I said hi, okay? Yep, I'll do that. See you soon. Excuse me? Huh? See you soon? Yeah. Can you promise that? I don't think you can promise that. I'm sorry, what? You said see you soon, but you don't really know that. I mean, you can't promise it. We can hope. Hope to see you soon is probably more appropriate. Okay. You get what I'm saying, right? You can't say see you soon because you just don't know. You can't possibly know. I guess it's why I hate goodbyes. I personally avoid them at all costs. Even when I hear someone start to say goodbye, well, I've been known to cork my hand over a few mouths. And see you soon. Give me a break. I'm gonna leave now. It's just that no one can keep that kind of promise. That is, no one except Jesus. He made a promise to come back and he kept it. Even so, I wonder how Jesus felt at the Last Supper. He knew it then, that night, that he was saying a goodbye of sorts. When he broke bread and said, this is my body, was he thinking about all that his disciples would face in the coming days? Did they remember all that he had taught them? And what about the disciples? When their teacher, their friend, lifted the cup and said, this is the blood of my covenant, which is poured out for many. While they didn't understand that Jesus was about to shed his blood so their sins would be forgiven, it still had to have the feel of a goodbye meal. It's interesting. Jesus chose to say a lot of things that night, but one thing he didn't say, goodbye. because Jesus knew something else his disciples didn't yet understand. It wasn't really goodbye. Not only would he see them again in three days' time, he would see them throughout eternity in heaven. It wasn't a goodbye. It was a promise. <laughs>